hey guys welcome back to my youtube channel if you're new here and uh, you're interested in software development or you want to learn about the tech industry in south africa or if you want to just learn how to build apps please hit the subscribe button and don't forget to hit the like button as it will help me with uh, the youtube algorithm my name is Siviwe. i'm a software developer and today we're going to be talking about five programming languages that you should learn if you are in south africa now with each programming language i'm also going to mention the framework that you should learn with that language because learning a language on its own will not help you get a job or build your portfolio cool so for number five it's gonna be java and the reason why java is at number five is because usually it is used in big um corporates it is used in big organizations and when they hire java developers it is usually senior developers and i know that most of you guys are going to be junior developers you're going to be new in the industry and it's going to be a bit difficult to get into industry as a java developer but if you're going to be learning java learn a framework called spring boot and uh, that is used to um, build applications with java so basically usually you're going to be building back-end applications so that's your web apis your graphqls just your server-side code and uh, it is usually used in the banking industry it is used by um, insurance companies to build their applications cool so uh, for number four it's gonna be c sharp and the framework that you should learn with c sharp is .NET, and i prefer that you learn dotnet core because um it's crop it's cross-platform every um company is migrating to dotnet core it's just the new stuff right so make sure that you learn that and um c sharp is usually used to also build um your back-end services so your web apis you know uh, just your server-side code but it, it is also used to like build um mvc um applications so that's your your server rendered uh, pages um yeah cool so it is also used in uh pretty much the banking industry and insurance companies it is a quite corporate uh language it is used by big um, companies so it might be a bit difficult to get uh, a job as a c sharp uh, developer because they're usually looking for senior or intermediate developers and c sharp i must say this is one of the most paying programming languages i mean you can get paid 100k like 100,000 rands per month as a c-sharp developer i've seen jobs uh that pay 100k per month that's like 1.2 million per year like can you imagine that cool so for number three it's gonna have to be kotlin and uh i wanted to like say python but uh i then remembered that a lot of companies in south africa are like moving to mobile apps especially the insurance companies they move into mobile apps so that's why i put kotlin at number three so kotlin is a programming language that is used to build android apps so that's your mobile applications so if you want to get into android mobile dev learn kotlin it's a great programming language i know that you can use java to build android apps but i would suggest that you use kotlin because it is the new stuff a lot of companies are migrating to kotlin so it's better to learn kotlin than to learn java for android and then at number two it's gonna be swift and that is because reason why 
Swift is number two and not number three is because um, the iOS, like iPhones are booming in South Africa now. It, it used to be Android, but a lot of people are getting iPhones now and uh, iOS developers are in demand here in, in South Africa. Um, yeah, so learn Swift. If you want to get into mobile development specifically for iPhones, yeah, just learn Swift. But make sure that you get a MacBook because you won't be able to build iOS apps on a Windows machine. And then the number one programming language that you should learn if you are in South Africa. And I'm sure you guys already know it's JavaScript. <laughs> it is my favorite programming language. Uh, because one, it, it has a lot of job opportunities. A lot of startups are using JavaScript, meaning that you as a junior developer can find a job pretty much easy because a lot of startups are hiring interns, they're hiring junior developers. And if you know JavaScript, you're going to get a job, man. And with JavaScript, make sure that you learn a framework. So it, it depends. <laughs> if you wanna get into backend development, learn JavaScript with no JS, no your Express, your Nest JS, there's Dino now, learn that. And then if you wanna get into the front end, learn a framework like Angular, React, or Vue.js. If you want to get into mobile development using JavaScript, you can go for, you can learn uh, React Native or you can uh, learn Ionic. So that's the beauty of JavaScript, man. It's, uh, you can build your back end, your web app, your mobile app with just one programming language. And that is why a lot of startup or small companies are using JavaScript. That's because you don't need a big team of developers. You, you can pretty much use the same developers to build the front end and the back end. So I would really suggest that you learn JavaScript. And that is the reason why JavaScript is number one in this list. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe. Please hit the like button. And um, yeah, stay tuned for more videos. Cheers.